Hey, good optometry morning. These two guys... Who are those guys? ...have forgotten more about glaucoma than I'll ever know. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and with me today, I'm so excited to have my friends. I've got Dr. Gerwitt and Dr. Myers here, and they know so much about glaucoma, and they're here to answer your frequently answered questions about glaucoma. Glaucoma, will I go blind? You'll go blind if the disease is bad and you don't take your drops. Most oftentimes, you won't go blind when you're compliant and listen to your doctor. Can I cure glaucoma? You know, glaucoma is not curable, but it's something that's treatable. We have all kinds of options, both medically, including drops, and surgical options that are very effective to prevent going blind. If I have glaucoma, how are you going to treat my glaucoma? Glaucoma generally is a disease where the pressure builds up in your eye. It hurts your optic nerve. Your optic nerve takes information from your eye to your brain. Your eye's like a camera. It takes pictures. Your brain develops the pictures. If there's no cable that connects the two, then you'll wind up not seeing well. What you have to do, in most instances, is lower the pressure. And those medicines and surgeries do just that, and we have a lot of good tools to prevent the pressure from elevating, causing more damage to the optic nerve. So what are, what are the different ways you can lower the pressure? Uh, generally speaking, with eye drops, Okay. And the other answer is surgery. All right. So both of those treatments either cause the pressure to not build up by reducing the fluid that causes a buildup of pressure or increasing the outflow of the fluid from the eyeball. So we're just talking plumbing. True. You have a sink that either overfills because you have too much water running or the drain's blocked. And both those medicines work by stop. Well, one medicine group of medicines works by stopping the flow. The other medicine group stops, it works by increasing the outflow. Okay, so you talked about, that's the next question that often people have is, yeah, what kind of, I, there's a whole bunch of different drops. My doctor gave you this drug, my friend, he is, they'll go me, is this drop. What, what's it? Not, not every drop. Not every drop's right for the same person. We're all different. Okay. And so there are some drops that work better for others and some drops that work better for you. And your doctor will select that based upon the way he knows you. My doctor told me to put my drops in. Two questions, one is, what if I forget to put a drop in? What do I do? I forgot. Ah, it's not a big deal. T take it as soon as you remember. Okay, but and then and then I can't remember. He said put it in the morning or in the af afternoon. I, I can't remember which one. Does it matter? Should I just anytime? Does it matter when I put it in? Yes. Generally speaking, you don't want to take medicine against the direction of your doctor. However, uh, when the doctor gives you the medicine to take, he'll decide whether you need the drops once a day, twice a day, and whether you should take it in the morning or night. Try to remember, write it down, and do it. And if you forget a drop, when you remember, take the drop. And All right. That's one of the beauties of the medicine is that you could only use them necessarily once a day, and they're so effective that I tell my patients, we could save your vision if you spend one minute a day right before bed remembering to take your drops, and that's extraordinarily convenient. That's the key. Just take the drops. I'll add this. It's important that you get the drop in your eye, not on your forehead or on your cheek. The second thing is, once the drop's in, keep your eyes closed, generally speaking, for one song on the radio. That way we know the drop is absorbed into your eye and will work the best. Okay, so, I, you know, my patients are asking, they're saying, okay, this is related to my eye pressure. What about my blood pressure? Does, if I get my blood pressure low, if my blood pressure's high, how is that affected? Well, how's that related to my eye pressure? I'll make two points very quickly. Your eyeball is not disconnected from your body. So what's going on in your body also affects your eyeball. But generally speaking, glaucoma is a disease that is free from effects from all the other systems. Yes, there's some relationship. And I don't want you to think that your eye is disconnected from the rest of your body. However, for the most part, glaucoma is a disease that's controllable by drops in surgery, and you just want to make sure you maintain your health. The other thing I tell my patients is just overall general health is important. If you're healthy and you control your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your blood sugar, and you exercise and you eat right, obviously that's better for your whole body, as Andy mentioned, and it's hard to make the disconnect from whole body health and eye health. Okay. If I've got a family member that has glaucoma, I'm a little bit about worried about getting it myself. What can I do to prevent myself from getting glaucoma? That's a great question. It's an easy answer, nothing. Well, I think that what's more important is you not necessarily can prevent it because there's a genetic predisposition, but you can control it. And hopefully most people who have a family member who have an eye disease 
they themselves start to go to an eye doctor on a regular basis. And if you go to a competent reg a doctor on a regular basis, hopefully they will catch an eye disease early, knowing your ocular history, but also including knowing your family history. So, uh, so that really, if I'm gonna want to do something, I, I just go see my optometrist on a regular basis. Go, go see a, an eye doctor so that they can measure your eye pressure, look inside and outside your eye okay. to see if any of the signs that are either functional or structural that indicate the disease is brewing in you. Are there different types of glaucoma? Yes, there's a whole bunch of different types of glaucoma. And I don't think for this video we need to really get into all of the different na way that we name glaucoma. So, but the answer to your question is, like there's a whole bunch of different desserts and cookies, ice cream, cake, candy, all those sorts of sweets. Yes, there are different flavors of glaucoma. Uh, and what's the most common one? The most common one is open angle glaucoma. That's when he, what he said and what you related to with plumbing. There's too much fluid being produced and you can't get it out of the eye fast enough. So the pressure builds up. But another kind of glaucoma is closed angle glaucoma. And that's when your eye is built because the way you were born from your genetics, just smaller than the other people. And in that case, the fluid can't get out as well. There are ways to fix both. Okay. And I would think of it as primary disease and secondary disease. So a primary disease is you just unfortunately have glaucoma might be a family predisposition, or you just might have bad luck of the draw that you happen to get glaucoma. Or the opposite would be a secondary glaucoma. I was in a bar fight and I got punched in the eye, and for the rest of my life, now I have a risk of developing a disease because I have compromised anatomy in my eye. So I hopefully that answers all the questions you need to know about glaucoma. If you have any other questions, feel free to throw a comment down below, and we'll try to get an answer to you. And with that, have a great optometry day. Uh, I, I, I don't know if this is going to get cut. It might get cut. <laughs> but the number one reason people fail in their glaucoma treatment is they don't do what they're supposed to. So take your drops. Follow your doctor's directions. I'm so good looking. You are good. Okay. And one take, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh uh, uh, also, uh, generally, you should be seen every three months. And I always tell my patients, don't smoke. I am so good looking. <laughs> Do you want to redo any of those questions? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. I'm one take, Dan. Okay, fantastic. Nice job. Hey, you guys are fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I like it. Who are those guys?